Hello and welcome. It's attorney Mark Blaine practicing personal injury law here in San Diego, California. And today I'd like to talk to you about the police report. I get a lot of calls on this. Um, people call me up and go, Mark, I got in a car crash, but there's no police report. Is that a problem? And the short answer to that is no. There's so many circumstances that can lead a police officer to either write a report or not write a report or do what's called an exchange of information between the parties. Just because you don't have a police report for whatever reason it was for that officer that day, it could be that they were busy that day or they had other serious uh, injuries to uh, adhere to. Just because that happens does not mean you cannot later bring forth a valid California injury claim. So keep that in mind when you don't have a police report in your case. The other thing I get, a lot of people ask me, they say, well, Mark, um, the officer recorded uh, that I was injured. Now, officers are not doctors, and your doctors will be the ones that will be the experts on your case to talk about injury. But certainly, if the officer put down that you were injured and complained of neck pain or whatnot, that technically can come in at trial Although he's not making a medical opinion, he is just recording and repeating what he saw and heard that you said to him in terms of any complaints or injury. And that was probably the foundation that he or she used at the scene of the crash to call for an ambulance. So we can use that, and that's potential evidence in your case. Now, if you don't have it in your police report, again, it does not invalidate your legitimate right to bring a personal injury claim forth, forward in California. All right, now number three, this is what I get a lot of times too on the police report, is uh, a lot of people think, well, Mark, here's the police report, and the police officer said, I'm at fault. And it says it right there, I'm at fault, and he even cites the vehicle code section. Well, don't worry, because in California, the officer cannot testify as to causation of injury. Now, the only exception to that rule is if the officer actually witnessed the car crash, and that's you know, it's fairly rare. I've had a few cases where the car crash does occur in front of the officer, and certainly then he can go to trial and give a causation opinion. But 99.9% .9 of the time, the officer in California, whatever law enforcement agency it is, whether it's the California Highway Patrol, sheriff, or local police department, they cannot give causation opinion unless they witness the uh, actual car collision itself. So keep that in mind. It's something that a lot of people don't know about and they think that once they have something saying they're at fault, that's it. And, and also keep in mind that if you do have a police report that says you're at fault, a lot of times a good witness statement that's independent of the parties, you and the other driver, can make or break causation just based on what they saw and heard. So just because the officer says you're at fault, we're gonna look at other things in the police report to help you in your case. Whether it's an independent witness statement, the debris field that was uh, documented by the officer to help lead a biomech or, or collision reconstructionist expert to reconstruct that collision for the jury so we can get to the truth of the matter and see what happened in terms of liability. So those are the, some of the things I just want to share briefly with you on your police report, some of the myths, some of the misconceptions out there. And you're probably thinking, well, why are you, why are you sharing this information with, with me, Mark? Well, I see this all the time. You might be in a situation right now where you have a police report and you don't know where to turn and you've got some concerns. Well, if that's the case, feel free to give me a call, email me, text me. I make myself available and I take calls like yours every day. So with that in mind, stay strong and have a great day. Thank you.